I didn't quite get the fine tuning of the universe problem and why it is a powerful argument pointing to God. In my atheist stage, I thought I did and I dismissed it. Now I saw those solar simulation videos where quite small changes applied almost randomly had insane consequences. And the Earth becomes uninhabitable, not in a million years, but just in decades. And the craziest part, that if you reverse the changes, Earth does not recover. The damage is often too big to, be, to allow for a natural return to living conditions. Just getting things back to where they were is not enough. You need precise, direct actions. A cosmic sneeze can destroy everything. The balance here is like balancing a house of cards in a hurricane and somehow against all odds managing to make it still stand. But even a slight temporary imbalance require a miracle to get everything back to normal. What about the real deal then? How to go from a molten rock to a divine cradle of life? It would require millions of miracles, all perfectly timed. And it's just the mechanics, the clockwork part of the situation. There's so much more involved, like cosmic constants and other highly abstract things. So I thought I understood the fine tuning of the universe problem, but abstractions hid away the real complexity and fragility of our reality. Only by focusing on a tiny part of it, the, the mechanics, I now understand that this alone is highly improbable. And how can one look at this and not see God's hand in it? Well, only by rebellion, I assume. So watch this channel and tell me that we're here just by chance.